Namdi Azikiwe University Teaching Hospital, Nauf, is a tertiary health care institution located in the Newi Anambra State, Nigeria. Nauf Newi, as it is popularly known, was established by Anambra State of Nigeria, ASN Edict No. 10 of 1998. The hospital was commissioned on Friday, the 19th of July, 1991, and subsequently was taken over by the federal government of Nigeria by Decree 68 of 10th September, 1922. To meet the demand of the national policy in medical education, which stipulates that each teaching hospital shall be with a community medical center, a center for community and primary health care Nini and Yorcha local government area was designated a wing of the teaching hospital in October 1989 and commission on the 27th of October 1991. Similarly, the Nini General Hospital, which then was under the State Health Management Board, was officially handed over to the Teaching Hospital Management Board on the 6th of June 1990. Another branch of the teaching hospital is the Guinness Eye Hospital or Nature. This eye hospital was handed over to the Teaching Hospital Management Board on the 26th of June 1991 for the treatment of eye disorders. Other annexes of the hospital include the CHC PHC Uwo Dunukofia Local Government Area was commissioned on 10th April 1997. The Trauma Center Oba. A Demili South local government started offering services to the community on the 28th of February 2005. The CHC PHC Omonya Oyu local government area was commissioned on the 19th of June 2005. The above outlines that Nauth can provide and meet all medical needs in all facets of medical services to the people of Anambra State and the Southeast Nigeria in general. The emergence of Associate Professor Dr. Joseph Obaja came with a profound vision to transform Nauth into a medical megacity using the permanent site as a showcase that will see it rank among the top five best hospitals in the country. To realize the vision, Dr. Obaja articulated various strategic approaches to be able to fulfill the vision of transforming Nauth to become a top five best hospital in the country and which are 1. Infrastructural development. This strategic approach saw the massive infrastructural development that the Nauth permanent site has witnessed within the past two years under the visionary leadership of the current chief medical director this massive infrastructural developments include a roads 1 double lane from gate to ebato side 2 single lane from roundabout to the back of the gopd building 3 single lane from the ebato side to the back of the gopd building 4 single lane from isolation building to the back gate b massive buildings which include 1 gopd building 2 specialty clinic 3. Radiology Building 4. Administrative Building 5. Accident and Emergency Building 6. Renal Building 7. Obstetrics Building 8. Isolation Building 9. Molecular Laboratory 10. Mill Amenity Building 1 11. Mill Amenity Building 2 12. Female Amenity Building 13. MCE 1 14 MCE2, 15 Mill Surgical World, 16 Trauma Center, 17 Cancer Center, 18 Oxygen Plant 1, 19 Oxygen Plant 2, 20 Oxygen Storage, 21 MOP Building, C Ecology and Erosion Control, 1 Control Drainages, 2. Recovery of gully areas. 3. Position of state-of-art facilities and processes. The completed medical buildings in the north site today boast digitalized standard and world-class medical facilities that can be found in any world-class hospital anywhere in the world. The pump site is now using the latest version of EMR 
that is electronic medical record software that with the integration of payment processing features other state-of-the-art facilities installed in various sections of the hospital include 1. Magnetic Resonance Imaging MRI Machines 2. Computer Tomography CT Scanners 3. Digital Mammography Machines Robotic Surgery Systems 5. Cyber Knife Radio Surgery System 6. Advanced EEG and ECG Machines 7. Intensive Care Unit ICUs with Cutting edge monitoring equipment. 8. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy chambers. 9. Cancer treatment centers with the latest radiation therapy tools. 10. Advanced wound care centers equipped with specialized dressing and treatment. 11. Telemedicine suites for remote consultation and diagnosis. 3. Manpower recruitment and capacity building. The vision of Dr. Ubuaja to transform Naut to rank top five in the country has led to huge manpower recruitment, especially in the Palm site. The capacity building has created a new mindset and brought attitudinal change among the staff with a renewed energy focused on transforming Naut to rank among the top five best hospitals in the country. Four. Another strategic approach employed by the visionary leadership of Dr. Obaja is his collaboration with external stakeholders of the hospitals, particularly the host communities. In the view of the host communities, Dr. Obaja has achieved tremendously well in the first few years. I was with him at the permanent site in Akamuri just about uh, maybe about five days ago. And... Uh, I saw a lot and I was wondering uh, how did he achieve this within a very short time that he's been in the office. I was shocked from what I saw there. He took us round, we went round everywhere and uh, he have done a marvelous job. Yes, so far. He's a wonderful guy. Uh, <laughs> this is just the beginning. Can you imagine six months? what that young man has done. Uh, if you ask me, in the next, uh, maybe in the next year or two, I think uh, if you go to that permanent site, you won't recognize it anymore. Because from what he has done already, within six months, so imagine what that young man will do in, from now to the next two years. I think uh, when you get there, you won't recognize that place again. Uh, just like they said, I think uh, it will be one of the best teaching hospitals in Nigeria. Uh, so far, from what I've seen, scale of 10, I would say uh, 6. Just in 6 months. So, uh, I think there is a light at the end of that tunnel. We all have agreed to give him every support because uh, he's making us proud. He's putting in there in the world map. So, and... Uh, that's a wonderful thing. And because of that, we're going to give him every support that he needs from Uzgora Navy. The CMD have shown capacity since he started at the CMD. Even before then, um, we saw in him that eagerness to lead. Since he started at least I've had close observation of what is happening because I'll go there virtually every day to see the level of development of our advices. The CMD have virtually turned that place into a wonder because within the six months that he has been in office, that place is now looking like there is something going on. Unlike before, it was like a dead end. You know, it was because of his zeal that this is what we've seen on ground. He's not going to rest because we'll be on him day in, day out. As he's sleeping and waking, we are also sleeping with him and working with him. You, you understand? We want him to be a reference point. We want a situation where 
wherever you are in Nigeria, they will refer you to say, go to Newi, go to the teaching hospital in Newi. So we want to give you a world class outlook. And to do that, we're not going to allow him to sleep. Like your question is, I believe in the next six months, which will make you stay one year, and that place will turn out wonderful. Indeed. Dr. Joseph Obaja has opened doors to a world of possibilities. The joy is palpable among patients who experience a renewed sense of hope and comfort at the new site. As we witness this transformation, we celebrate the relentless dedication of Dr. Joseph Obaja and the entire team at Namdi Azikiwe Teaching Hospital. The unwavering commitment to excellence has redefined the healthcare landscape, leaving a legacy that will endure for generations to come. As the Namdi Azikiwe Teaching Hospital settles into its new permanent site, it becomes a cornerstone of hope and empowerment. The ripple effect of this relocation will be felt far as transforming lives and ensuring a brighter future for all. We celebrate this milestone achievement of Naut's relocation to a permanent site, a testament to its commitment to providing exceptional healthcare services. Together, we look forward to witnessing the positive impact this move will have on Anambra State and the host communities, bringing health, happiness and a sense of fulfillment to all those who walk through its doors.